with such a hand, how can anybody lose? 50 cents and a dollar more. Yours and a buck. You've got a sweat board, Mateo. What are you holding too many? Five aces? Oh, you want to find out? Then stay. With what, a lousy pair? Keep it down. Parsons? Yeah. Cut it out. You want to break up the game? Can't a guy even click a few chips around here without the canvas cops sniffing around? Tell him it's my false teeth. All right, he's gone. I don't know what I'm hanging in for. I'll never win. All right, look, look, no more. I'm going to need an oxygen tank. Now my editorial subject, the Latin American Republic of Veritas. What is it? 11 months ago, the dictator was overthrown. Raymond Diapera became president. He promised reform. True democracy. Now grave doubts have arisen. Observers wonder what is happening in Veritas. Has Diapera delivered, or is he deceiving his people with bright but empty promises? For example, the notorious prison known as the Crocodile. Diapera swore it would never again be used. You see the race? I have it on good authority that it is being used. There's no way to run a bluff. You got to play him like you own him. Come on, Mateo, in or out. What time is it? What time is it? You're kidding me. Nine o'clock. I gotta Nine go, fellas. What about the pot? All that sugar? You take it. What's your name? I'll put it in the book. <laughs> There's nobody. <laughs> Tried a bluff and it didn't work. Here, I'll prove it. Yeah, straight flush queen high. He had it made. He's not home. Professor Del Court? Mateo! Leave father alone. Pilas! Pilas! Is there any way to talk to a compatriot? Matteo is welcome any time, for any reason. Sir, you know the reason. There is so little time. So little time. Oh, the common cry of youth, eh, Joseph? So little time, when they have so much. You know each other? Everyone knows Professor Hal. Well, whatever it is, don't bear down on him too hard, Clementi. He's been busy with this. I'll read it as soon as I can, Professor. I'm very flattered that you asked me. Say next week? Whenever. And please, whatever you find to criticize, do not pull your punches. I wish I knew how. Clemente? Yes, sir. Pelas? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, Matteo, how many rounds shall we go tonight? To a decision? Yes. Sir, there is only one decision that is possible. like that, wouldn't you? No. He's home. Sleeping. Mateo. Leave father. He's an old man. We want him to be so you can keep him here. But he's not. He's a rock. i tell you why he missed his class. Because I didn't wake him up. After you left, I heard him pacing his room for hours. This morning, I brought him his coffee. He'd fallen asleep in his chair. So many lines in his face. So many gray hairs. 
He can't go to Veritat. The president of the opera needs him. I need him. He exiled himself. But he swore he would return. Uh, that manuscript that he gave to Professor Howe last night, is it about Veritat? I don't know. Is it about President of the Opera? I don't know. Matteo, when we were children, we played together. You remember? So what are we? We were good companions. Matteo, father's happy here. He's all I've got. Don't take him away. No one takes him away. He goes because he must. It's his duty. Whereas we're children no longer. work. Juan, I could use you behind my office. I have to separate the ivy to see out the window. Well, how are your rates? Oh, hi, Fred. Very high. And since you are dean of the college, I charge you double. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I can get something for you? A drink, perhaps? No, no, no. Nothing, thanks. Except information. A palace is out? At the library, I presume. Hey, sit down, please. Oh, but don't stop now. I enjoy watching your technique. Oh, I'm finished. Up here, plants grow slowly. In the jungle, no matter how fast one cuts them down, they spring up again, like dragon's teeth. Well, you say information? Well, my spies inform me you missed your 8 o'clock. I'm not concerned about that, but it did start me thinking, Juan. If you go back to Veritard, precisely what will it mean to Channing? Won't be just for a couple of weeks or so, will it? You'd leave permanently. I'm afraid so, Fred. Although Dio Piero's invitation is only to attend the anniversary celebration of the revolution, I feel sure that he would want me to stay on in the cabinet. You have misgivings, Juan. Fred, my heart pushes at me to go. But there are rumors about your bearer that he has become a dictator. If these rumors are false, then I will go back. I must support him. But if they are true, then for me to support him would be like... like planting all this again. Beautiful full of promise, but eventually crushing all liberty, all freedom. I wish I could be helpful, Juan. But the only world I'm expert in is Channing, and that's a small world compared to yours. It is a world that I have come to cherish. The feeling is mutual. We'd miss you, Juan. Well, just let me know in time to shift my teaching schedule. I won't press you. I wish others were as patient.
Elegante, eh? El típico americano de colegio. <laughs> Completo con jarro de cerveza. En bateritas. In a lockable oblivion of the young creative mind. Hello. Is this Mateo's room? That's fact. Who are you? We are friends. Do you know where he is? He's around someplace. Why don't you sit down and wait? We'll come back later. Any message like we're staying? No, that's all right. Don't bother. That's what I'm looking for. History of the Earth. And don't mess around, huh? I'm sorry. Any shows? No, no, it's Clemente's. But I should lay down eight bucks when I can use Clemente's book? <laughs> Oh, Professor Howard, I didn't have time to find out. Or Professor Delcourt's permission. Or mine. Well, you don't think I was prying, sir? Well, I don't know. What should I think? I came to see you about my freshman English. I would like to change classes. No? Not that Mr. Henderson is not a good teacher, only for me he's uh, not simpatico. I was wondering if you have room in yours. No, my class is full, Clemente. Besides, it's a little late in the semester. Well, sir, you, you cannot believe I... I just saw it, that's all. It must be of extreme interest. I was wondering if there's a chapter on Veritat. You know Professor Delcourt quite well, don't you? Oh, very well, sir. His family and mine have been friends for years. Pelas and I... Well, then I suggest you ask him, not me. That's all, Clemente. Yes, sir. Catch cold? Good ball. Here they call it soccer. Roberto, they're not very good. Except for Mateo. He is the star. What are you doing here? Why have you come? Hey, hey, Roberto, vamos! Whee! Hey, Roberto! Whee! Yeah! We arrived this noon. We have an airplane waiting at the. Um... Roberto, what is the airport? The Lowell Creek. Lowell Creek. Fifteen and one-half miles north on road number eight. As soon as you are ready, Mateo, one stop in Corpus Christi. Roo! <laughs> we are all back home again in very tired. I can manage without you. He's so angry. We are here to help. Well, Mateo, tonight, tomorrow, I don't know. He does not know. Huh? <laughs> what is it the North Americanos say about us, that, Roberto? Manana, always manana. You're giving us a bad name, Mateo. It is not manana. I've been after him every single day. He says he's waiting for proof. What proof? Well, those rumors, those reports, I know they're false, but it is not easy to persuade Del Court. And it must be persuasion, nothing more. The opera told me so before I left. He said no force of his own free will. Is that not what he said? Of course, Mateo. What else? <sighs> Amigo, you will catch cold. Go. Take your shower. <laughs> Give 
them what they themselves were too fearful to ask for. A year ago, he came from the mountains and made the revolution. He was a great man then, he's a great man now. Because you say so? No, because I have been with him, you haven't. Who are you to pass judgment? Who am I not to? Matteo, you're a very fine boy, and I have a great fondness for you. But judgment... <laughs> there is nothing wrong with my judgment. You are young. The young are very often blinded by stars in their eyes. Your particular star is Ramon de Opera. Well, not only mine alone, but everyone's. Don't you think I know? I was in the mountains with him. I fought in his side. Then we marched together in the capital and the crowds cheered. All night long they cheered. Matteo, what does it take to make a crowd cheer, eh? Stick a bull, they cheer. Slap a clown, they cheer. Shoot a man in a public square, they shout their lungs out. Well, you call yourself a liberal and you hate the people. The people, no. Crowds, yes. <laughs> now I can see why it shows you, you believe. Well, what's wrong with that? Oh, it sets me at a certain disadvantage. Against faulty logic, one can argue. But against blind belief. Which is more blind, youth like me or old age? Oh. Now we no longer argue. We attack, eh? Sir, he needs you. Many attack him, the whole reactionary press. Reactionary press. Why is it whenever questions are raised, reactionary press? Here, you want to see true reaction? Look at these. They come every day. In every mail. Huh? These few in favor of the opera. Look how many against. Oh, but these are lies, lies. People would always write more against, against everything. What is it you're afraid? I am concerned that what I do is right for the people. No, 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 no. I mean afraid for yourself. Oh, it is easy to make speeches, to write books, big important articles about your beloved country, Veritas, but always from a distance, always from far away. Be careful, Matteo. You are accusing me yes, of, being of being afraid, afraid to fight, afraid to go back. Afraid to fight? Where did I get this, eh? You are the only one that fought in the mountains, that marched under a good, great leader? The one I fought under closed the crocodile too. Oh, but now it is closed forever. Closed it, and then when my great, good leader changed, it opened again. From every cell, the clink of chains. So many in chains. Have you ever been inside the crocodile? The walls weep. The stones exude the moisture like tears. It gathers on the ceilings and falls like raindrops in the darkness. All day, all night, like a rain that is always beginning and never stops. prison that weeps for its inmates and the end of their glorious dreams. Whenever it rains softly, I am... I am uncomfortable. And thunder. It is the echo of a thousand firing squads. speak to me, Matteo, of fear or of fighting. Sir. For what I have said, I'm, I'm very sorry. But his president will never change. Never. Sir, do not abstract yourself from the people. They have found in this man a true reflection of themselves. The opera stands with them, not above them. His breath is their breath. He leads the people because he is one of them. The celebration is only a few days away. Sir, why are you waiting? Mother! Father, do not leave. 
listen to him. Bellas. Sir, I'm speaking for a country that wants you. They do not want you. They want your name, your reputation, to wave like it's life. Enough. Enough! We go in circles. Do you not know when it is enough? When I return to the retirement, it will be I who decide. Father, you belong here. Bellas, please. He goes and you come at me from the other side. Why don't you both leave? Both? Yes, go somewhere, anywhere. Mm. We only argue. Then argue someplace else. I've had enough for one night. much chance. You think only a very bad. Are you cold? No. It's very pleasant here. Do you come often? A few times. Popular place, I suppose. I come by myself. I don't know why, but it reminds me of someplace else. I can't think where. So familiar. your shoes. I'll tell you why. Why? Take off your shoes. Oh. <laughs> what are we going to do? Come here. Give me your hand. Okay. Oh. <laughs> here. Shh. Quiet. There's a bullfrog. A bullfrog? Do you see him? No. Where is he? There. Wait a minute. Where? Come on. I can't see him. Oh, I see him. There, there you go. Don't you see him? Go ahead. Get him. Gotcha. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Oh, I almost got it. Mateo? Mateo? They passed back home. The heels. The way they curve. And the frogs. The way we used to try and catch them, it always missed. The same way. So there was one, remember? <gasps> Tremendous. With a deep, deep voice. And the cows came around. They thought it was a bull. I remember. And, and, and the time you fell in the water, remember that? You pulled me out by my pigtail. You saved my life. Oh, you could swim. You could <laughs> swim like a fish. <laughs> you knew the lake at once. I haven't been so long away as you. We never quarreled then. Did we? what you're trying to do. I guess there's no doing it for Bill. I thought it was I who only thought of politics. Mateo, leave father alone. Everything would be so simple. I wish it were simple. It is not. And you know it's not. Please, take me home.
It's open. Hey, Lars. Come in. If you're busy, I... No, these are just exam papers. You saved my life. Is it true that you throw them at the ceiling? And those that stick in a passing grade? <laughs> these couldn't stick to flypaper. Sit down. Hmm. Well, what is it, Pelas? I'm halfway through your father's manuscript. It's very good. There was a letter in the Channing Daily yesterday. A student complaining about the chapel bells. Yes, I read it. He doesn't mind that they wake him up, but he doesn't like the tunes. He wants progressive jazz. <laughs> to me, they sound wonderful. No matter what they play, to wake up tomorrow and tomorrow, and the day after that, to stay in the same place. Wonderful. We traveled for so long after we left Veritat. From one country to another. Never stopping. Never settling down. Is he going back? He can't. He can't go back. I'm afraid of what might happen. What? I don't know. So many things. He's out of politics. Why can't he stay out? Stay here where it's peaceful. Talk to him. Convince him. A man like your father? He thinks a great deal of you. And I of him. But he must know his own mind. How can he? When he's called a coward, hammered at all the time. Coward? Now, who'd say that? How much can he stand? A man like my father. Who? Hammering at your father. But who would he listen to? He's not made a putty to be twisted by anyone at all? It's not just anyone. It's... Please, talk to him. Why don't you do that? I'll do what I can. Tell him he's too old for politics. Tell him Johnny needs him. Why don't you go on home? Try not to worry me. It's very important. What am I doing here? You mean at Channing? I believe that's where we are. We're interested, including Chief Parsons. Oh, then you must know about the poker game. Oh, this is a lot more serious than a poker game, Clementi. I'm afraid I don't understand, sir. Well, let's all try to understand, shall we? You're from Veritad. Why, is it a crime these days? A year ago, everybody approved of Veritad. The dictator was overthrown, everybody approved. According to your application, you did not take part in the revolution. You did nothing. That's correct, sir. I was not concerned. They're all here, your application form. Previous scholastic record. Paratory School, Switzerland. Courses taken. Credits. Here's what we really want to talk about. Your visa. Well, it's a regular one, sir. It's a student's visa. It can be revoked, you know? Yes, if the student fails. Or if he's not a student at all. If he's here for another purpose. Are you here for another purpose, Clemente? Purpose? It never occurred to me I'd have to ask this of a student, but could you be a foreign agent? You're joking. Come off it, Clemente. Your only purpose here is to get Professor Delcourt back to Veritat. Well, isn't it? Who says this? Does Professor Delcourt say this? Professor Delcourt doesn't know you've been called in, and he's not going to. And you're going to lay off. You're going to stop twisting his arm. I'm a student, that's all. It was Professor Delcourt who recommended me here, and he has known my family for years. Makes it that much simpler. Well, you have no proof of this. You deny you talk to him? Was well, there a law against talk? I mean about Veritas. Yes, we talk about Veritas. It's our homeland, our country. Yes, we talk, but twist his arm or no. We just talk. 
You can go. Fred. All right, Clemente. You're just going to let him go on pressing Delcourt? Joe, we have no proof it's anything more than talk. And the boy has the right to speak his mind. However, Lem, I believe the phrase is under surveillance. Yes, sir. I've also cabled our embassy in Veritat about young Clemente. We ought to have an answer soon. It's Dio Perra's first anniversary this Saturday. You'd better be soon. Sebastian, why do you always talk about the mountains? But here, steam heat, steam heat, Berto. And the bed. Have you tried the bed, Sebastian? Have I tried the bed? Ah, mm, magnifico. Ay, ay, ay. The easy life, Berto. Soft, warm, so pleasant. Mateo! How was your football? No, no, Sebastian. Here they call it soccer. I was not there. I was working for hours. Oh, too bad. The star player. Hey, I tell you what, Berto. You and me, we will go back home. We will say to the opera, Mateo Clemente, he is of no use. Yankee life has made him soft. Hey, that is nice. I told you I have been found out. You're not arrested. They said I could go, but I have a policeman who follows me everywhere I go. Then he will have more exercise tonight. Where'd you get this? From one of your fellow students. He took a message on the phone a few minutes ago. I don't understand. What it says, Matteo. Professor Del Corte is in the library. He wishes to speak with you. Well, he calls me? Well, that cannot be bad, huh? If he calls me? Sure. What else? Jesus Delgado, a kind, good man, Matteo. The place you would not recognize, the inside of the crocodile. The photos are not the best. They must have been taken from concealment. Where do you get them? In the mail this afternoon. Facts, Matteo. No longer rumors. They are facts. You're not going, then? I'm sorry, Matteo. You are shocked. Your ideals concerning Ramon de Opara are shattered, eh? Do you call this proof? <laughs> They're fake, all of them, and you know it. I'll tell you what it proves, what I was saying the other night. You're afraid to go. Oh, I didn't want to believe it then, but now. It's your excuse. They're fake, Professor. Fake, you believe them because you're afraid. Now what, Matteo? Now the velvet glove falls, and the fist is bared. I am sorry for you. Oh, no, no. Don't be sorry for me. Be sorry for yourself. I know how you must feel. How the punishment begins inside. Talking with you, it was a waste of time. You cannot believe that your God has feet of clay. Therefore, you must hate me. That makes it easy now for you to think of Delcourt not as a man, but as a thing. An object to be moved from here to there. A means to an end. But remember, Matteo, 
the chicken never goes willingly to the pot. Hey, Clemente. What does the opera want him for anyway? He's a dried up old man. He wants him. What is more important, amigo? What he wants or what the Presidente wants? Your watchdog? Well? It's me who watches. Did you see him? Yes. And? I told you I was not going, and I am not. I am staying here. He called them fakes. He was in a rage of disappointment. He will go back, but he must not. He has failed his mission. The crocodile will swallow him up. Can he not see that? His faith has made him blind. Blind. Pelas. Professor, I've read your manuscript. It's great. Are you free to talk about it? Tonight? I can be over in ten minutes. Unless you're busy. Oh, no. No, I am not busy. I would welcome your company. By all means. Ten minutes. Thank you. to meet you, Professor. The air reeks of it. Well, a couple of minutes at most. Well, it's obviously Clementi. Who else? Well, that's just the point, Joe. Parsons just phoned in. Clementi's been with Pelas. But he must know about this. He's too involved not to. I'm afraid so. I'm leaving now. 
Is there anything I can say to open your eyes? It's not mine that they're closed. Pelas, come to Veritad. It's a new world, new and fresh. Come and you will see. He is not a dictator, he's a great man. Your father is wrong. He'll find out. You too, once you're there. What do you need? How can he find out? He is not going. What do you mean? Matteo! <laughs> He's an activist, Fred. He should appreciate direct action. Where is he, Clementi? Where is who? Father. Are you talking about Father? He's home. No, Pelas, he's not. Well, where is he then? When did you last see Professor Delcourt? Half an hour, an hour in the library. You saw me. I also saw a couple of strangers. I should have followed them instead of you, looks like. Matteo! Look at me! Look at me! You know. You just wanted me to go. To what he said. No law against talk. Am I quoting you correctly? But once the talk didn't work, what then? Brass knuckles? No! Where are they taking him, Matteo? Back to Veritad? Please. Please answer him. The use of force. You swore you were against it. But what can happen to him? So he goes back to accept an invitation. Is that bad? An invitation? Oh, Matteo! You know the answer to that. He chose to stay, and you denied him that choice. You denied him his freedom. If your dear parent does he that... He denies nothing. Only what is necessary. And what is necessary has to be done. Necessary? For whom? Father trusted you. Why, Matteo? Why? Here, a cable from our embassy. You were in the revolution. You were a member of Diopera's personal staff. It also mentions executions going on every day, Matteo. Summary executions. No public trial. No lawyer for the defense. Can you deny those executions? Can you deny what's happening to Delcourt right now? Suppose your compatriots succeed. Suppose they get him back to Veritad. You know he's outspoken. He'll say exactly what he thinks, as loudly as he can. And after that, Clementi, how loud is the sound of a firing squad? Like thunder. And the stone walls with tears. Whenever it rains softly. We weep for him, Matteo. Small airfield, Lowell Creek. I know where it is. There's a phone in the boathouse. We can stop and call the state police from there. Never be able to keep up with that. That's one of them. Roberto is the pilot. If I could take care of Sebastian, that would only leave Roberta. You wait here, Nathan. Be careful. I should have been before this. I told you, Signore. We're going to Corpus Christi. Well, just how sick is that fellow? You want an attending physician? to leave me behind, amigo. Matteo, you know how it is. Yes, I, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> but now you are here, of course. 
You're one of Juan's best friends. If he's going too, put it down. I am fine, Pilas. I am fine. <laughs> you, you beat your wings over me like a mother hen. You heard the police physician. A good night's sleep. I won't even miss my eight o'clock. You sound better than usual. Maybe we ought to schedule these escapades regularly, like the freshman flag rush. <laughs> I straighten up in the morning. Uh, it will be as if nothing had happened. Mi mamacita. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a hand. Uh, Professor. I won't have time for my class assignments. There are other assignments. Will you ever return? One day. I hope. A dictator rises. He can be overthrown. You are going back to fight against him. How does the world look without the rose-colored glasses? Very painful. The truth, it hurts the eyes. He was like you to begin with, wasn't he? Sir? Diopera. He started out as a bright young idealist, too, didn't he? Do not be so doubtful, Professor. Faith in people can change, yes. But for some of us, convictions remain. I'll keep mine. I hope so, Matteo. I hope so. You will have to pack. I have all night. Well, that's something, isn't it? <laughs> 